Do you know India ranks fourth in the list of countries most affected by climate change? It makes us wonder if there is any penalty for all the carbon emissions we emit? As a matter of fact, there definitely is. Carbon tax is real and that's what we want to talk about. Let's try to look at this closely and understand a few things about carbon taxation. First, what really is a carbon tax and its history in India? Then, how does it affect us? Lastly, having a carbon tax does it really help the environment? We emit 7% of the total global emissions. According to a 2019 survey by World Resource Institute, our emissions are around 2.5 tons per person, which is less than the global average of 4.47 tons. United Kingdom has an average emission per person of 6.8 tons, while the United States has an average of dangerous 18.44. But with the kind of population we have, we contribute a lot. In 2015, many countries, including India, came together to form the Paris Agreement to fight climate change. According to the agreement, if we want to achieve a healthier environment by 2050, the emission rate per person must be under 2 tons. Until 2014-15, India had subsidies on carbon emissions. Basically, you would benefit if you emitted less carbon. After that, however, India changed its policy from subsidization to taxation. The taxes on fossil fuels like petrol and diesel have been increased. And this is precisely why you see an increase in fuel prices in the last few years. Additionally, India also taxes coal, both imported and domestically produced. Coal powers over half of our electricity generation, so taxing it obviously has a huge impact. In less than a decade, coal prices have gone up from 50 rupees to 400 rupees per ton. So basically, India doesn't have a direct tax on carbon emissions, but it has several indirect taxes to discourage and penalize carbon consumption. And statistically speaking, Taxing carbon emissions has considerably reduced its consumption. India has now committed to achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2070. It's a long way down the road, but new technologies and policies have been working towards it. Yes, forecasts say that the Indian carbon emission would reduce by 11 million tons of carbon dioxide in less than one year. But why don't we have a direct carbon tax? Well, carbon taxes are considered to be regressive. It means they will actually affect the lower income families more than the higher income families. Additionally, companies that are super intensive in carbon emissions will oppose a lot for this scheme. Another problem that might arise is that the increase in production costs would hurt the local manufacturers and small businesses. Even in the US, the carbon tax has been proposed several times but has never been passed. The UK, just like India, does not have a direct carbon tax but takes conservative actions through fuel taxes and energy taxes. South Africa taxes about $8 per ton while Singapore taxes $3.67 per ton but only to large emitters. While Germany taxes €25, Euros, for now, they plan to increase it to 55 by 2025. Countries like Sweden and Norway have also implemented direct taxes on carbon emissions. India focuses a lot on reusing and recycling. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has also begun a waste to energy program. It is aimed at encouraging projects around biogas, bio CNG, and power from agricultural waste and solid waste. Plus, the Department of Science and Technology supports the development of numerous projects that enable plastic recycling. With electric vehicles and solar power gearing up, it will be exciting to see how rapidly we will be able to reduce our carbon emissions and ultimately achieve our target of net zero.